And I really wanted to come with this because, you know, at the prep school, we might have some kids, oh, my oh, my knee is kind of aching a little bit. I don't think I can practice today. Oh, my hip is tight. I don't wanna I don't want to risk it. I don't think I can practice today. And I'll bring them to the side and I'll tell them and I'll be like, you're here now, this might slide, but once you get to that next level, there is no, oh, I don't think I can go today. I don't, I don't, I can't do this. I can't, I don't think I can practice today. There is none of that. That's, that's not even an option in every college program. If you aren't practicing on the sideline, you're gonna be doing something worse than practice. I don't, whether that's treadmill, ropes, something they do this to deter people from not practicing so if you're not practicing they're going to put you with the strength coach on the sideline and you're going to be doing something way harder making you wish that you practiced that day right let me tell you guys why when i first got to college one of the biggest things that they told me was there's a difference between being hurt and being injured right especially in college because at the collegiate level let's be honest with the scheduling how much you're practicing how much you know you're doing weights the the time let's just say you got you get back at two o'clock in the morning you got to get up at 8 a.m and be in class and they're coming to check and you're doing that consistently month after month after month those miles start to add up at a certain point everyone's banged up everyone has something hurting them but at the same time everyone is still expected to play and it's like that because these coaches these dudes are, are trying to provide for their families. They might have kids, things like that. So let's just say you're a really good player and you don't feel like playing today. You don't feel like practicing for a really big game. And obviously, if you don't practice, you can't play. So all of a sudden, the coach is in a situation where it's like, okay, he doesn't feel like practicing today. If he doesn't practice, he can't play. And if I lose this game, there's a chance I, lo I lose my job, which affects my kids, my wife. So guess what? I'm going to come to you. I'm going to bring you to the side and be like, look. I don't care, right? Like, I, I understand you're banged up, this, this, and that, but you need to take, you know, you need to do what you need to do and make sure you can get ready to play. That's one of the biggest things that I really wanted to come and tell you guys in this video. Like, once you get to college, I don't care if it's D1, D2, D3, NAI, at that collegiate level where people's livelihoods are at, are at stake and they're paying you, you're not paying to go there, they, they're paying you to go there, there aren't, there aren't any breaks. I understand there, there are people who wanna, oh, I'm hurt today, I need a break, I need a day off. I promise you, you're not getting a day off. Even when you're in high school and middle school, don't start those habits. You know, you push yourself, but also know your limits.